A very good day to you and welcome to the program. I want to ask you a question. Have you got some decisions to make? Important decisions about getting married maybe, about um, having a family, maybe about immigrating, maybe about changing your work position. Have you got serious questions that can affect the rest of your life? I'm sure you have. Now, why I'm asking you the question is because many young men just recently and women have come to me and asked me advice. Uncle Angus, what should we do? Should we go? Should we stay? Should we buy? Should we sell? What should we do? And you know, the only answer I can give them is uh, ask the Lord. I'm not bucking, I'm bucking out of the responsibility, but that's what I do. I ask the Lord. Now, you know, there is such a thing as putting a fleece before the Lord. You've heard of that? Well, I'm going to read it for you now, and then you'll see it for yourself. You see, the Word of God, the Bible, is everything to me. We only quote the Word of God. And what saddens me so often, I listen to a lot of preachers, and they're not using the Word of God. They'll talk about Shakespeare or Sigmund Freud or somebody, but we're not interested in them because they are mortals just like you and me. We want a word from God. And the only way you'll get that word is through the Bible. Yes, God will confirm it through other believers, through signs and wonders and miracles, but the word is the cornerstone of our faith. You take the Bible away from Christianity, there's no more Christianity. And don't let anybody tell you different. Now let's go to the Word and I'll confirm what I'm telling these young people. And not only young people, older people as well. If we go to the book of Judges in the Old Testament, the book of Judges chapter 6 from verse 36. I'm just going to read a little bit of scripture for you. This is about Gideon. Remember, Gideon wanted to know, Lord, what must I do? So this is what he said. Gideon chapter 6 and from verse 36. Then Gideon said to God, If you will save Israel by my hand, as you have said, look, I shall put a fleece of wool on the threshing floor. If there is dew on the fleece only and it is dry all around the ground, then I shall know that you will save Israel by my hand, as you have said. Verse 38. And so it was when he rose early the next morning and squeezed the fleece together, he wrung the dew out of the fleece, a bowl full of water. Now that's amazing. It's all dry around about, okay? It's like if you left a fleece on this grass here tomorrow morning, the grass is all wet, and the, uh, I beg your pardon, the grass is all dry, and the fleece is soaking wet. A whole bowl full of water. But Gideon, maybe like some of us, he still wasn't convinced. So he said to the Lord, then Gideon said to God, don't be angry with me, and let me speak just once more. <laughs> Sounds like some of us, eh? He says, I pray just once more with the fleece. Let it now be dry only on the fleece, but on all the ground let there be dew. Verse 40, and God did so that night. It was dry on the fleece only, but there was dew on all the ground. Folks, that is confirmation. I've done it myself many times. Not many times, but often. Lord, please. Give me a sign. Lord, if, if, you, if you bring that money into the bank, I know I've got to go to that place or whatever it might be. And God will honor you because he loves you. Till next time, goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.